In today's video, I'll be discussing the ultimate mink sulong form and what it would look like in Grand Peace Online. I talked about races a GPO a little bit yesterday, and one of the points I forgot to mention is racial progression. So outside of fighting styles, there is no racial progression for players in GPO. It'd be interesting if through doing some sort of quest, you could unlock special abilities relevant to your character's race in the game. This could translate to things like sulong form and some sort of fishman version too. With this being said, there isn't really an easy already established version 2 for Fishmen, so maybe I'll make a video in the future discussing some ideas for that. For now though, let's talk about the Sulong form and how it could be implemented. First, I think we have to establish what the Sulong form is and how it can be activated. So the Sulong form is a transformation that members of the Mink tribe can undergo. Obviously, this translates to Mink players in GPO. The actual transformation consists of Mink's pupils shrinking and their eyes turning a blood red. Now, this would be really cool to see in GPO, especially if they made the red parts of the eye glow in a similar way to the glow on Kraken armor. On top of the initial change in the eyes, Minks who undergo the transformation temporarily grow in size. Now, this again is pretty easy to picture in GPO. However, there are some things that I feel must be mentioned. It wouldn't make much sense if the player's size increase was not followed by an increase in both damage and health or damage reduction. Furthermore, this increase in damage should be most noticeable in Electro moves as Minks are seen to constantly emit Electro while in this form. On that note, this constant emission of Electro or Electricity could also translate to constant stuns on M1s and a small stun on players who come into contact with the Sulong player. One visual change that I haven't yet mentioned is the drastic increase in fur. When a mink transforms into their Sulong, their fur grows all over and turns a pure white. Particularly hairy and furry areas like manes and tails see the biggest increase. This may translate to a unique mink transformation for all the different mink types currently in GPO. These include things like dog mink and the horned mink. Now, this wouldn't be a fair discussion if I didn't include the weaknesses of this form. If there were no weaknesses, or limits, then Sulong would simply be broken. The first and most obvious weakness is, in One Piece, Sulongs can only undergo the transformation by temporarily looking at the moon. Now this puts a severe limit on when they can use the form and also has the added weakness of stopping the transformation if the player is, for example, underground or in a house with no direct access to the moon. If you want my honest opinion, I don't think this whole moon thing would work in Grand Prix Online very well, especially in arena mode. Even though this would technically be going against the rules set out in One Piece, I think Minx should be able to freely transform, at least in arena mode. Perhaps Minx could have its own bar, similar to the Haki bar, which could be charged up by damaging an opponent or by taking damage before the form could be used and then it would drain it after that. Another alternative to this would be to add some sort of moonstone type item into the game. This way, the One Piece mechanic of only being able to transform when players are looking at the moon could be kept, but players who wanted to use the form freely could do so by acquiring a rare moon necklace or stone type item. Maybe this could be linked to a quest where the user has to use the mink form a certain amount of times or something like that. Another established weakness of Sulong is that it takes several seconds for a mink to fully transform. So if an opponent was quick, they could attack before the mink player is able to fully transform. On top of this, if minks are not sufficiently trained, they will lose their minds and attack anyone near them even friends and allies. I'm not sure how this would translate into GPO, but maybe it could be in the form of the player in Sulong form being forced to attack players around them or they can do nothing to stop it. However, this seems like it would be a really hard feature to implement and would likely be scrapped altogether. Furthermore, many minks in One Piece have a strong level of control over their Sulong form, so this weakness simply does not apply to them. The final weakness that I want to mention is one that is pretty obvious and that is that mink sulong form doesn't last very long. Obviously there would be a limit on this similar to the haki in game and maybe like haki it could be trained to last for longer. All right now I'm going to summarize what I said in the past five minutes or so. The mink form would consist of a number of visual changes to a player's avatar including a size increase and an increase in fur and this size increase would correlate with an increase in damage, primarily damage of electro moves, health, speed, and damage reduction. The way the transformation is activated is ultimately up to the devs. However, I think that looking at the moon style transformation would be inconvenient. An easy solution to this would be some sort of moonstone or a moon necklace 
that mimics the effects of the full moon on Minx. The weaknesses of Sulong should be include a time limit that could potentially be trained, a larger hitbox and an initial 3 to 5 second transformation period that can be interrupted. Alright, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to support my channel, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. Alright, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Hope you have a great day, evening, whatever time it is for you guys.